Hello, my name is Jalen Avila, and in this video, I'm gonna walk you through some basic machine operation for the Sonosite LX. Here is the machine. It has a quite large touchscreen down here. It is adjustable. You just press this down with your foot and you can actually move the entire base up and down. A little bit of caution, don't pull or transport the machine by grabbing this handle. You wanna grab this handle in the back. And in the back, we have a little tray where we can put some supplies, ultrasound transducers, and then of course, little areas where we can put three transducers. The ultrasound machine can handle three at a time, but you can easily swap these out for other transducers if you need to. Let's now talk about how to select a transducer. So this is the bottom part of the screen, the touch screen part. And if you notice right here, we have the phase ray transducer, that's this one right here, that is selected and it's using the focus cardiac setting. This is something that we can change. We hit this button here and we can select whatever transducer we want as long as it's connected physically underneath to the module here so that we can access that probe. And we can do some fine tuning on how the probe works, but this is all kind of extra. You can just select the transducer and the exam you want and start scanning. Some basic machine operation next. I've zoomed out just a bit. This was that touch screen that we were looking at earlier. And over here we have physical buttons. We have gain, we would put our finger here and kind of slide it this way or back this way. That'll turn up or down the gain or the brightness of that image. We can change the depth by hitting the up to decrease depth or down to decrease depth. We have the mouse pad here. We can select, we can put in annotations, access calculators, access calipers for distance. This right here is how we record clips. This is how we take a screenshot. This is how we freeze an image to do calculations or distances, which you see here. And then over here selects the mode of the transducer. 2D is our grayscale. This is what we typically use, but we can also use color Doppler. We can use our M mode and we can use our pulse wave Doppler by hitting these respective buttons. Next, let's talk about how to add patient and operator data. So going back to the touch screen, you can see here, it kind of tells you what it is that you need to select to be able to enter the patient information. So hit this green button right here, and you can manually input the patient's information if you don't have your system set up to be connected with your EMR, but if you happen to have it connected through your EMR with either an orders-based or an encounter-based pathway, the encounter-based pathway is obviously better. The way that you would add the patient information is you would hit the work list. Now, if we see here, I have these black bars here uh, for patient privacy, but each of these are patients that would be in your department. You're gonna select whichever one you want to start the exam on, hit select, and then the patient's information will show up in these areas. Now you wanna put your user ID or your initials on the examination. You're gonna select the performing and put in whatever identifier you want for yourself and then hit the scan button and you're ready to go. Now let's say that you're in a situation where you don't have the ability to automatically upload your ultrasound study to the patient's EMR or a middleware or a PAX. You can also export the uh, files to a approved and appropriately encrypted and formatted USB drive. If you look in the back of the machine, we have some USB ports, HDMI, ethernet on this side, and they're all for you to use. You have a couple extra USB ports over here. This is a microphone for voice commands if you happen to want to use that. And when you have that plugged in, you can export. So the way that we do that is we're going to go to the patient list button on that right side. You are going to select whichever study you actually want to export, which I chose that one. And then you're going to hit the send to button on that bottom and then click USB. Make sure that you have your USB drive selected. You can 
decide if you want to include patient information on there or not, and then hit send, and it will start to transfer. And if you look up here, you can see these three dots that are kind of moving. This is the machine saying that it heard you and it is currently working on transporting your clips to that USB drive. And then when you're done, just hit the done button. That's it for this tutorial on the Sonosite LX. I hope to hear from you soon and happy scanning.